The energy of spring, according to traditional Chinese medicine, is linked to the wood element. And the wood element connects to the energy lines and the organs of the liver and the gallbladder. Now, these two organs in the body are all about detoxing, getting rid of stuff that you, you no longer want to carry around with you. And it's very appropriate to, to tap into this energy at spring because springtime, and in particular spring equinox, is the perfect time to plant the seeds of what you want to manifest, to nurture, to put your energy into in the coming months of this year. And although this is a very expansive time, and it's a beautiful time. I mean, look, it, the, the sun is shining. It could not be a, a more perfect example of a spring day up here in Scotland. Um, although there's all this lightness and movement going on, there is another side to this. Quite often, and for many of us, we can feel stuck. We can feel frustrated at this time. It's strange with all this, this wonderful sort of sense of renewal around spring you can feel that the whole world is moving forward, but you're not. And more often than not, this comes from some kind of blockage or some resistance in your energy. So our class today really focuses on removing those blockages, getting you unstuck from wherever you are and helping you to find some clarity, some focus around what you want. But more importantly, tapping into, really getting into those deep, dark corners uh, of your mind and really looking at what do you want to let go of? What do you want to stop putting energy into for the remainder of this year? The energy of liver is um, both expansive and contractive. It, it gets bigger and it gets smaller in the same way that your breath moves. So when we inhale, we expand. When we exhale, we get smaller, we get softer, heavier, more able to relax. Well, your liver energy kind of works in the same way. So during our practice today, we're going to expand and then we're gonna turn inwards just a little bit more. And then we're gonna come out and expand once again and finally turning inwards. For the majority of the practice, we're going to be focusing on yin and somatic movement. Somatic quite simply means sensing. So I'm going to encourage you over the next hour to do a little less thinking and a little more feeling. <laughs> I want you to kind of switch your thinking brain off and really sense what's going on. I'm going to talk you through all of this so you don't have to worry. If this is not making a lot of sense to you right now, it will by the time we're done. <laughs> But we're going to begin today in a seated position. Now, if sitting on the floor is not accessible to you or it just doesn't feel comfortable for you right now, you can do this first section seated in a chair. If you choose to sit in a chair, make sure that your feet are planted firmly in the earth, that you have space between the pelvis and the ribs, the shoulders and the ears. Long spine, crown of the head reaching up towards the ceiling. If you're seated on the floor like me, you can choose to either cross the ankles, have one leg in front of the other. If you're feeling a little bit bendy today, maybe one leg on top of the other. Whatever you choose to do, find a position that you can hold for a few minutes and that you feel comfortable with. So when you find the position that is right for you, and maybe you want to grab a cushion, a block, a, a bolster even, raise your hips a bit higher than your knees. You'll be more comfortable if you do that. When you find that comfy spot, I'm going to get you to... Turn your attention to your breath. You can place a hand on your belly to do this. Keeping the eyes open at this point and just noticing where your breath is coming from. Can you feel your breath moving in the chest, the ribs, the belly? Does it feel fast or slow, shallow or deep? Does it feel comfortable or does it feel strained or stressed in some way? And remember that your only job right now is to observe and notice. There's no judgment. There's no right or wrong here. You're not looking for ways to chastise yourself, to find fault in everything you do. Simply notice. 
And as you become aware, the breath, the movement, that ripple of each inhale and exhale, maybe you can consciously begin to slow the breath. Drawing breath in through the nose and releasing through the mouth. Feeling the expansion and contraction, that wave of motion flowing through you, easy and effortless. And as you continue to breathe, and just let my words wash over you, you can keep focusing on your own natural rhythm. So the liver line in uh, Chinese medicine runs on both sides of the body, although the liver as an organ is placed on the right side. One of the functions that liver has in our body, uh, liver moves the energy uh, of your body to all your system. So whatever energy you've got around about the liver is going to spread out into your other system. So we're going to put a little bit of love energy into our liver. I know that might sound a bit weird. Trust me, go with it. You'll love it. You're going to take your left hand and take it to the right side of your body. So right side ribs, just under your breast. Taking your right hand and placing that on top, just allowing the, the palm to just kind of spread round to the side body. Relax the shoulders. Let the elbows become heavy and just keep taking those natural breaths, those breaths that are right for you. Holding the hands here, maybe noticing the warmth that spreads through your palms, that spreads out into the side body, into your ribs, your belly, your chest. Maybe softening the gaze a little here. Keeping the eyes open for now. And as you hold here, nurturing this organ, the liver, I want you to think about one thing, just one thing that you love about yourself. And if it feels good to do it, why don't you speak that thing out loud? Maybe you can say your name as you do this. Lorna, I love your laugh and the way that it seems to infect everyone around you. Just one thing. It might be a physical feature, it might be an attitude, an attribute. Whatever it is, find that one thing. Now maybe for you today, that one thing is going to be enough, but maybe there's something else that you can send here. And I want you to keep sending that energy of self-love down into your liver. And as you find these things to love about yourself, we're just going to start to make some movement, some up and down movement, shaking and moving the rib cage. Breathing into it. Perhaps just repeating the words, I love you. I love you. You can say them into yourself. You can say them out loud. You know what's right for you today. Go with your gut. Let it guide you. Keep shaking, moving, gently agitating this part of your body. As you send all of the love you have for yourself into the liver. Maybe remembering you are enough just as you are. You're worthy. You're loved. And you are loved. And as you send that energy to your liver, it's going to start to spread out to the other systems of your body. Holding on to that feeling of self-love and I want you to keep coming back to this feeling as we go through our practice today. Just bring the hands to stillness, just resting. Resting the palms. Can you feel a little tingle? Maybe some warmth. And 
Maybe see your hands. You're going to take the right palm and you're going to tuck it under your left armpit. You're going to take your left palm, tuck it under your right armpit. We're just going to channel that love to the heart, the heart meridian. And we're connecting what you've just done. Because why not? We don't want to, we don't want to stay restricted to just liver and gallbladder. Let's spread that love a bit further. Breathe into your belly, breathe into your back. Notice feelings, sensations, thoughts that might be coming up for you just now. Is there resistance around this? Does it feel good? Does it feel easy? And I remind you once more, there's no right or wrong. Only what you notice and observe. And you can allow these thoughts and feelings and sensations to bubble up inside you. Acknowledge them, and then let them go. And we're going to move the hands to the side of the head. Get a little gallbladder buzz going. So you're going to make sort of claw fingers for me. Taking the fingers of your hand, if I turn to the side, and you're just going to place the fingers about, maybe about an inch above your ear. Just let them spread out, and the thumb just rests at the base of the skull. You're going to do this on both sides of your head. And just pressing the fingers into the, the scalp as if you are trying to bring the fingertips of the left and right hands together. But you've got this pesky head in the way, so you're going to press pretty firmly. Gallbladder energy is quite jagged, if I can put it that way. The, the, the journey of the gallbladder through the body is, is, is sort of very back and forth and it's quite angular. And so when you work on gallbladder energy, you can be quite, um, actually you can be quite aggressive is a good word. <laughs> you don't have to be delicate with this energy in any way. So as you press the fingers in here, maybe you're noticing already that there's some tender spots. Now remember to work within your own comfort. Find the points of resistance and then just hang out there. And if it feels good, begin to circle your fingers and you're circling them pretty deep. Just imagine you're trying to bring those fingertips to touch each other. And you can circle in one direction, circle in the other. Maybe noticing if you want to sigh more deeply, swallow more. Perhaps you're, you're feeling like you want to clear your throat. This is all signs that your energy is starting to shift. Your nervous system is making some changes. And maybe you want to make these little circles go a bit faster or maybe you want to do them slowly and deeply go with what feels right for you and if you find a tender spot and there will be a tender spot <laughs> there's always a tender spot in gallbladder then hang out there maybe just pressing and pausing for a moment just notice how it changes and shifts your body's always going through change Nothing is permanent, nothing stays the same. And so it is for the sensations that you experience, the emotions that you have. You can release the hands from the side of the head. So we're just gonna work our way down the face. Uh, where oh, it's so easy to hold on to tension uh, around about the, the jaw and the face. And it can really impede the flow of energy through your body. So, we're going to take the knuckles first of all and begin at the jawline and you're going to push your knuckles all the way up to where your jaw and your cheekbone meet there's like a little dent where these two bones meet and as you push up just tilt your chin down towards your chest and open your mouth oh. and then begin again from the jawline sliding Opening the mouth. It's hard for me to talk and do that. <laughs> and you are going to feel, oh, all kinds of discomfort here. <laughs> and when you get through the discomfort, you're going to feel the most glorious release of your life. Gently opening. 
closing the matter. One more. And we're going to repeat the same, this time from the cheekbone, sliding up to the temple. Keep the shoulders relaxed, elbows heavy. Opening the mouth as you slide up. Doesn't this feel good? Two more. Roll your shoulders, shake out your arms, make sure that there's no tension that's crept into the upper arms. Maybe shake out your fingers a little bit. I'm gonna bring the thumb and the first finger, thumb under the chin, first finger over the chin, and you're gonna open your jaw. So draw your jaw down. Give you some double chins. Closing mouth. We'll do this one more time. And then keeping the thumb just hooked under the chin, bring your other thumb to meet it. You're going to open your mouth, feeling some tension here as you press down into the thumbs. I know these exercises probably feel really silly, but you're going to love me for these. One more. I'm going to open your mouth in just a moment using the tongue uh, to help you do it. So I'm going to explain this one because I can't really talk and demonstrate it at the same time. You'll see why in a moment. So I want you to take your tongue to the back of your bottom teeth. And you're going to push your tongue into the, the back of the bottom teeth as if you're trying to pop your tongue out your mouth. And as you do that, push the lower jaw down so that you open your mouth. And we're going to hold here with the eyes open and a little smile on your face. You're going to look so fun. Anybody uh, who's with you, get the camera ready because this is definitely Instagram selfie time. So <clears throat> we're going to take the tongue, push it to the back of the bottom teeth. Keep pushing as much as you can. And close, slow, slow, slow. Take a breath in, you're gonna repeat that. And close, you can feel that getting a little bit tense around the, the cheeks, so just give them a rub. And last of all, bringing right palm to the base of the throat so just where your your clavicle um bone is left hand sits on top draw your ears back towards uh the shoulder so like you're trying to bring your chin again to make double chins i'm ever so sorry about all the double chins today so you're going to pull 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 to bring your uh, ears in line with your shoulders and slowly tip your head back you're going to feel a stretch through the throat and the neck, tipping the head back only as far as you can go comfortably without feeling any stress or tension, especially in the, the back of the neck. And slowly tipping all the way forward. God, doesn't that feel good? Take a breath. Begin to stretch out once again. And down. And last one. Just centering yourself. Take a couple of breaths if you need to shake out the hands, the fingers, roll the shoulders, anything at all that just takes tension. Just 
anything has built up around about the, the, the arms, the shoulders, maybe across the, the, the back. We're gonna wrap our arms around ourselves now. So right arm goes to left shoulder. You're gonna have your right arm on top of your left, first of all. So you're giving yourself a little hug. See if you can reach around and actually touch your, your shoulder blades if possible. You can take a breath in. And as you breathe out, tip your left shoulder towards the floor. Keep sit bones pressed into the, the floor or the chair, wherever you are, keeping your head central. So we're not dropping the head as we go, but rather feeling that stretch. Can you feel that all the way through the right side of your body? And keep giving yourself a hug, tapping into that energy, that self-love energy that you began to nurture when we were working on the liver earlier. I'm going to inhale, slowly coming back to centre. The slower you move, the more you're going to feel. Turning your attention from the outside world to the inner world. Exhale. What can you feel? Noticing. Resistance. Or maybe the parts of you that feel really good when you do this. Inhale back center slowly slowly rising up keep those sit bones pressed down into the floor or the chair and coming back and send the arms wide chest open arching your back big inhale as you exhale, crossing the arms once again, this time the opposite way. So we now have the left arm on top, the right arm underneath. If you are seated on the floor, you're gonna move your legs as well. So you're gonna cross them in the opposite direction. Now you'll know that you're in the right place because it's gonna feel so wrong. <laughs> Taking a breath in as you breathe out, tipping the right shoulder towards the floor slowly stretching remember you might not be able to go so far on this side because we haven't done anything here yet so nice and gently inhale and exhale feeling all of the sensations on the left side body Center, holding for a moment and then we inhale, expanding once again, chest open, arching the back, even tilling your chin up towards the ceiling and then exhale, to come back to a neutral position, sitting up tall, find space between pelvis and ribs, shoulders and ears, relaxing your shoulders, noticing what feels different, what's changed in you in just a few minutes of movement. The pause is as important as the postures that we do, in fact, maybe even more so, because in this pause is where you get to really experience what's going on inside you, not just physically, but emotionally, mentally. Notice the parts of you that feel more open, spacious, maybe the parts of you that are are feeling a little, a little vulnerable, perhaps. Breathe into the parts that need your attention. Focusing on the rhythm, turning your attention inwards, letting go of any thoughts of things that have happened yesterday or what might happen tomorrow. You're here right now. So if you've been seated in a chair, I'm going to invite you to come down onto the floor. If you've been seated on the floor, you can just take your cushion, your pillow, whatever you've been sitting on, just popping it out of the way. You're going to rock forward, coming up onto the hands and knees. I'm just going to turn to the side so you can see what we're doing. You're going to line knees with hips and line wrists with shoulders. 
keeping your head neutral so you don't want to poke your chin forward or tuck it down towards your chest, just keeping it in a nice neutral position. You're going to inhale, drop in your belly towards the floor, squeeze the shoulder blades together and draw the chin upwards. Exhale, tucking your tailbone, rounding through your spine, feeling each vertebra sliding into place as you drop chin to chest and look between your legs. Inhale, opening, chest, throat, exhale, rounding. Drawing your belly back towards your spine, moving slowly with awareness, sensing the press of your palms into the floor, the tops of the feet, the knees, feeling the contraction of your muscles as you round, curl inwards, and the expansion of your inhale, opening your chest, Feeling the shoulder blades sliding together and coming to neutral, taking a breath. You're going to take your right leg behind you. Now, there's a couple of ways that you can do this. If it feels good to do so, you can slide that right leg all the way out to the side and send it forward. If that doesn't feel too accessible to you today, just bend it and give it a little step. You can even help it with your hand and just walk that foot forward. Now, we're going to come to a position where the right knee is going to pass over the right ankle. So I want you to find a way that you can sink your hips down and let that knee come over without the front foot lifting. We are coming into a series of poses. We're just going to do a couple of things today called dragons. They're called dragons for a very good reason. <laughs> I will explain a little more about dragons once we take the position. So you're going to allow this knee to pass over the ankle, you're going to perhaps feel a stretch in the calf, a little bit of compression uh, at the right hip and a stretch on the left hip flexor. Now, if you're struggling to bring fingertips down to the floor, if you've got a block, a cushion, even a piece of furniture nearby, you can use something to bring the floor closer to you. So you can rise up a little bit here. If you're feeling comfortable with the fingertips coming to the floor, I want you to allow your belly to rest onto that front thigh. It's gonna intensify the sensation through the left hip flexor. And we're gonna check in with the knee. Now, this is a, this is a particularly uncomfortable uh, position to be in. So we wanna try and make it as comfortable as possible. So if your knee is struggling with this, grab a cushion, even a couple of blankets work really well. And you can place them just under your shin uh, behind you, step forward here, and rest your shin on the blankets. Now, in doing so, you'll raise your knee away from the floor, and it makes this much more accessible if you do have uh, grumbly knees, as so many of us do. So make sure that you can hold this for a time, because we're going to be here for a minute or so. I know it doesn't sound like long, can feel really long <laughs> soon. You might want to let your head sink forward, your shoulders to round. Don't go beyond the first point of resistance, don't force, don't push. Remember this is not about your ego, this is not about how deeply you can go or how far you can stretch your body but rather what you're feeling and you're looking for those three points that I just explained. So an opening through the left hip flexor, maybe some compression into the right hip joint and a little stretch. If you're tight in the calves, you're going to feel that too. Your body is heavy, drawn down to the floor by gravity. You're using breath and body weight to access a more intense position. Dragons tap into liver energy. The emotions that reside in the liver are anger in all its forms. You might be experiencing some of that right now. <laughs> anger can show up as frustration, irritability, impatience. Oh, impatience is a, a real indication of underlying anger. And all of these things can manifest as you hang out here. 
you might find thoughts rising up into your awareness like how long are we going to hold this this is not yoga i don't like this my body doesn't work like that there's all kinds of things that could be coming up for you just now and i want you to breathe into them allow these thoughts to surface acknowledge them and then let them go stay with it sinking your hips down into the floor more and more with each exhale exploring with a sense of curiosity if I shift my weight a little to the right how does that change if I let my head drop forward does it feel good And all the while coming back to your breath, the inhale and exhale, expansion and contraction of energy. Taking an inhale, you can begin to walk your hands towards your back leg as you do send your hips behind you now move slowly in yin yoga it is said <laughs> that coming out of a yin po uh, posture is the closest you will ever feel to being 100 years old without actually being 100 years old you're going to feel vulnerable as you move here sending the hips back straightening the front leg you're not going to sit all the way back but rather keep fingertips rested to the floor Keep drawing your hips back as if you're trying to sit down, pressing gently through the front heel, straightening your knee, hanging out here, maybe introducing some rocking. So if you're trying to draw the sole of the foot down to the floor and then point the toes up towards the ceiling, you're soft and gentle, yielding, allowing yourself to come to that vulnerable place. Notice what's changing, what's shifting in your body, what parts of you feel really good, like you've got more space, and what parts of you have been feeling resistant, tight. <sighs> Breathe into them. And you feel perhaps it's almost like a waterfall all the way down that left thigh from the hip. Bending the front knee. And take the hands to the inside of the leg. Shift your weight into your palms and step your right leg behind you. Toes come together. Knees are wide. Send your hips down onto the heels reaching arms out in front of you you can bring forehead down to the floor take a breath in if your forehead doesn't quite want to reach the floor make two fists make a little platform for your head and just rest and as you rest here with that center point of your forehead either on the floor or on your hands you're tapping into a little bit of that liver energy once again at the same time softening yielding giving way turning inwards to pay attention to the thoughts the sensations the feelings that are bubbling up right now and remember there is no right or wrong allowing that clarity Whatever your unconscious mind wants to share with you, it's got an opportunity to do it now. The power is in the pause and as we pause here, give all of your attention, all of your loving kindness towards your thoughts and your feelings. It can be a little scary bit intimidating but you know what you've got this take a breath in reaching the arms forward rising up shifting weight into hands coming to all fours once again wrists in line with shoulders knees in line with hips 
And then this time as you arch and curl your back, we're going to introduce a little bit of circling here. So imagine that you're, you've got a big, <laughs> imagine that you've got a big crayon on your butt and you're drawing a circle. Arching and curling, maybe allowing the head to move with it. Allow your intuition to guide you here. You'll know what feels good. Change direction. Don't think about it, just feel it. Feel into the parts of you. It demands some attention right now, the slide of the body between the shoulder blades, maybe into your belly. Coming to stillness, take a breath in, extending your left leg behind you and either step or slide the left leg forward. Sink your hips down into the floor so that you can feel oh, a little bit of an opening on the right side. You want to allow the knee to pass over the ankle so the knee is really falling over the toes. Shift your weight slightly to the left. And just check in, make sure that your knee is feeling okay. You can reach your fingertips down to the floor and you're not gripping on here. Your fingers are really just there to stop you from wobbling from side to side. So make sure that you've got a little bit of pressure, but you're not reliant on the hands being there to hold you. Let your belly rest along the left thigh, perhaps dropping the head forward. Breathing deeply. Each time you inhale, feeling the expansion of each of your joints, the tissues that connect the joints to the muscles. And as you breathe out, it's an invitation, an invitation to explore this posture in a different way. But remember, if you're feeling it, you're doing it. You don't need to do anything else. So listen to your body, not your ego. Allow yourself to be guided by what you feel, what you sense, and what your gut tells you is right for you today. Taking a break at any time, you might feel you need to, but remember that discomfort is where the magic happens, is where change takes place you can find stillness find your persistence in that discomfort it will change it will shift because nothing in our world is static we are constantly constantly changing thoughts, our emotions, our feelings and sensations, they are never the same, not for a second. Extending your hips down into the floor, gravity, body weight, breath coming together to access this more deeply. And perhaps you imagined you could. breath be your guide. Taking an inhale begin to walk the hands back towards the back leg and as you do raising your hips bending that back knee slowly so slowly it's almost imperceptible allowing your body to adjust to these changes the slower you go the more you'll feel the more your body will love you for it <laughs> straightening the front legs, bending your hips behind you, 
fingertips reaching towards the floor, belly reaching towards the front thigh. Maybe introducing a little rock, gentle movement back and forth. Feeling a stretch through the hamstring on the left side. And maybe that waterfall sensation down the right thigh. Your energy moving fluidly, freely throughout your entire body. Bending the front knee. Bring hands, both hands inside that front net, uh, leg, and then you can step, slide, or drag <laughs> the left leg to meet the right, digging the knees wide, toes together, sending your hips back towards your heels. This time we're going to keep the, the torso a little bit higher, so we're not bringing the forehead down to the floor, but pressing through your palms, lifting your chest, squeezing shoulder blades together. Keep sinking your hips down onto your heels. Expansive inhale through the nose. And releasing your breath with an audible sigh. Imagine you're trying to fog up a mirror. It's that kind of ha ah sound that you want to make as you breathe out. Slowly begin to rise up, keeping the knees wide, bring the hands in towards the body. You're going to tuck your toes under and rise up into a squat. Heels are not coming down onto the floor at this point. Let me hop into the middle of the mat here. You want your toes to be as close together as you can without, they don't have to touch. If they're touching, that's great, but they don't have to. And slowly, ever so slowly, you're going to begin to lower the knees down to the floor. So you're staying up on the toes, actually putting some pressure on the balls of the feet. Drawing knees down, hips stay glued to the heels. <clears throat> and you can keep your hands pressed into the mat here, or if you feel that you need the floor to be a bit closer to you, grab a block, grab a cushion, just raising yourself up. Keep those hips heavy and you should feel some juicy sensation around about the toes into the balls of the feet. And remember the mantra, if you're feeling it, you're doing it. You do not have to do anything else. Hang out here. Breathe into the toes. Breathe into the parts of you that are very likely on fire right now. <laughs> and if it feels good, you can walk the hands towards the body. Remember, this is not about ego. So if you were feeling it and it was really pretty intense when you were leaning forward, then you don't need to be up here in this position now. If you are going to rise up, I want you to be aware of a couple of things. Firstly, make sure that you're not hovering away from your heels and holding yourself here. Secondly, make sure that you don't have white knuckles or <laughs> a face that looks a bit like this. You've got to be soft, relaxed, shoulders down and away from the ears, breath flowing freely, your weight sinking down evenly onto the feet, resting the palms. Bring your breath in, out, maybe making sure that your little toes are curled under. If you have little toes like mine, they always try and escape. You don't want them to miss out on all this good stuff. sinking your weight down onto the heels and in turn that weight will be transferred down into the feet. All of the, <clears throat> the lower body energy meridians either begin or end in your toes so by doing just even a minute or so of this pose you can stimulate all of these organs and systems. Take a breath, coming out. Reach fingertips towards the floor. Keep your hips heavy against your feet. Shifting your weight just piece by piece. To slowly bring the shoulders in line with the wrists. 
softly, gently. You might feel ah, a sigh of relief coming to your lips. Untuck one foot, untuck the other foot, and you can tap the tops of the feet into the mat. Oh, doesn't that feel delicious? crossing the ankles, sit back and just roll your hips over your ankles and you can bring the feet out in front of you. We're going to come all the way down onto the floor now. So you can keep the knees bent, the feet flat on the floor. We're moving slowly, slowly down to the floor, chin to chest, curling, using some of your tummy muscles to bring you down. If that feels a bit out of reach today, you can move onto the side body and roll down that way. Knees are bent, feet flat. I'm going to take your right knee and hug it into the chest, holding it into the chest. Breath in and out. Just feeling the softness maybe just shifting weight from side to side so you can feel that low back getting a bit of a massage as you shift your hips side to side and release the right foot down shift weight left knee comes into chest give it a little hug if you can't hold the knee uh, at the top here, you can always grab onto it at the back of the knee, making sure that your shoulders, your shoulder blades are connected to the floor. Maybe beginning to rock from side to side. Gently shifting weight, feeling your low back. Pressing into the floor, relaxing your weight, knowing that you're fully supported by the earth beneath you. And release the left foot. Stepping both feet just ever so slightly to your left side and then letting both knees fall to the right. Keeping the arms to the side of the body, the shoulders pressed down into the floor. If your knees don't quite reach the floor, grab a cushion, grab a block, Grab something to support you here. It doesn't matter if your knees get to the floor. Just make sure that you can feel a little bit of a twist into the side body. And you can reach your left arm up overhead, just bending the elbow in a, a very goddess-like lounging position. <laughs> You're going to reach your right hand taking it across the body, reaching for the left ribs. And you're gonna use your fingers to just ease the soft tissue here. As if you're trying to draw the left side body all the way over to the right. And you can squeeze over the ribs and then down into the soft tissues between pelvis and ribs. And you can use a little bit of force here, staying soft. Knees falling to the floor, shoulders melting down. Just easing and tugging at the tissues, just using the tips of the fingers or even the palm of the hand. To move up and down the left side body. And then coming to rest, wrapping that right arm across your belly. Hugging into the side of the body, just feeling the weight of your arm. Comforting. It feels good to give yourself a, a little hug, right? And let your head maybe flop to the left side as the knees fall to the right. Giving yourself permission to be soft. Wherever you are, it's exactly right for you. So you you don't need to make any adjustments, force or push yourself into a shape that your body's not ready for. 
And even as you lie here, you'll notice thoughts, sensations, and feelings bubbling up, just coming to the surface. You can acknowledge them and then send them on their way. No judgment. No need to become entangled or involved. No right or wrong. Just allowing them to come into your awareness and then dissolve into mist. Taking a breath in as you prepare for movement. Draw left arm down to the side of the body. Right arm can return to the right side. Breathing out, pressing the low back into the floor. Squeeze your tummy muscles as you roll through your feet. Roll through the lower back to draw the knees back to centre. Taking a breath in. Rocking knees from side to side. Press your low back into the floor. Feel it getting a delicious massage as you rock left and right, right and left. Come to stillness and centre and then step your feet over to the right side as you drop the knees to the left. If it feels good, reaching that right arm overhead, maybe turning your head to the right side and you can take the left hand, crossing it over the body drawing the right ribs over to the left side, press and release, guiding your fingers to the parts of you that perhaps need some attention. Listen to the messages that your body's sending you. Where do you need to be right now? Maybe you just need to be still. Maybe this little massage isn't right for you in this moment. Find some stillness. And just rest. And perhaps you can notice your tummy making some nice little noisy gurgles and bubbles. Maybe you're noticing more saliva in your mouth, the need to swallow. It's even more powerful than normal. Perhaps just feels good to sigh, <sighs> to release your breath. These are all signs that your energy is shifting, that your nervous system is shifting gears. Coming to stillness, letting the left palm rest to the right side body, the knees heavy over to the left. Use support if you need it, remember. Don't force, don't push. Don't have to make anything happen for this to be effective. Taking a breath in, right arm comes to the side of the body, left arm back to the left side, breathing out, rolling slowly through the low back, gently tugging your tummy muscles back towards the spine, pressing your lower back into the floor, keeping that back protected. Then you can just adjust to come to the centre of your mat and allow the legs to shift from side to side, drawing the hips into this gentle rock, press your low back into the floor, squeeze tummy muscles and then release. Coming to stillness. So you have two options at this point, either to keep the knees bent and the feet flat on the floor, or you can step your feet wide to the mat 
but keep the knees together, taking all of the stress out of your low back. If this position feels good to you, I want you to hang out here. If you prefer, you can extend your legs all the way out in front of you, taking your legs wide on the mat, the arms to the side of the body. You're going to tuck your chin to your chest. Let your feet flop out. Bring all of your awareness to your breath. The rise and fall of your belly, that rhythmic flow of air as you breathe in and breathe out. Each inhale, creating space throughout your entire body. Each exhale, an invitation to let go, to sink deeper and deeper into a place of relaxing. And you can allow your body to melt and soften with each breath out. Allowing your breath to carry you a place of deep relaxation. As you explore that space within you, you can turn your attention to sounds around you, sending your sense of hearing out into the room, out in the space where you are right now. What can you hear? The sound of my voice, the sounds around you. Perhaps there's sound of voices, of people moving, cars. Maybe you can hear the wind blowing through the trees. I want you to travel now, sending that sense of hearing out as you can send it what's the farthest sound that you can hear turning your attention from everything else focused only on what you can hear and then drawing your awareness back into the space you're in, back to your body, becoming aware of the sound of your breath, the sound of your heartbeat. Perhaps you can hear blood moving in your veins. sound of your body, its energy as you turn inwards deeper and deeper, allowing that sense of hearing to draw you inwards, all the way into the darkest corners inside you, noticing the tiniest sound that you can hear. You can expand your awareness to your body once again, the sensation of your body supported on the floor. Feeling the parts of you that connect with the earth, the parts that are raised away from it. Really noticing the sensation of the clothes against your skin. How the material feels cool or soft, comfortable or loose. Feeling the sensations of your clothing. And perhaps you can notice the touch of air on your bare skin, the backs of your hands, your cheeks, your forehead. 
can draw that sense of awareness inside into your body. Sensing your muscles, your joints, the organs in your belly. You can feel the heaviness, the way they expand and contract with each breath. Turning your sense, sensation inwards, deeper and deeper, drawing you down, down into that place within you where you can go whenever you need to find stillness, calm. Your eyelids heavy, perhaps even closed. Aware of your inner eyelids, perhaps seeing colours. Or maybe pictures coming to mind. Pictures of what you want for yourself for the coming months, for this year. What do you want to create? Where do you want to be? Where do you want to go? Let these pictures bubble up without judgment, without trying to take control. Let them be wherever they're going to be. Bring your attention to what you can see inside of you. Even let the idea of what you want dissipate like mist, evaporate. And maybe notice more pictures coming up. This time there's a different sensation, a different emotion, a different feeling within you. What are you ready to let go of? What will you no longer give your energy to? What will you no longer nurture and grow and harvest? And maybe you can see pictures, hear sounds, perhaps sense feelings in your body, whatever comes up for you, let it arise, acknowledge it and then let it go. Bringing your attention once again to your breath. Noticing the rise and the fall of each inhale and exhale. Feeling your body expand and contract. Knowing that physically, emotionally, mentally, you understand the power of this pause your ability to be still, to take time each day to spend only with yourself. Knowing that you're going to take this knowledge forward and use it. And use it every day for the remainder of the year. to your breath, deepening your breathing, each breath deeper than the one before, 
And as you deepen your breath, noticing the need to move growing stronger within you, you can begin to wriggle the fingers and wiggle the toes, maybe turning the head from side to side, left and right, right and left. Perhaps if it feels good, stretching the arms up overhead, reaching your fingers far away from your toes, pointing the toes, arching your back, creating space through the entire length of your body, stretching out, stretching out. And as you breathe out, draw your knees into your chest, squeezing your knees into your chest, making yourself small and tiny into a little ball, maybe curling the chin to the chest, the forehead to the knees, and begin to rock from side to side, rocking on your low back, moving from side to side, finding movement in the parts of you that have been so still. And you can rock all the way onto your right side, all the way onto your right side, holding here, fluttering the eyelids open if you haven't done so already. Holding for a moment, aware of your surroundings once again, Aware of the sound of my voice, the sound of your breath, noticing sensations, feelings, thoughts. Once again, allow them to bubble up and then let them go. Using your palms, pressing down into the floor, rising up to a seated position. You can sit up in a chair, you can sit on the floor, either cross-legged or on the knees. Find space between the pelvis and the ribs, the shoulders and the ears. Pressing palms to knees, sitting up tall. Perhaps taking a moment to acknowledge all that's changed, all that's shifted in you in such a short time. Bring palms to heart center. Finding gratitude. Gratitude for all that your body does for you. Gratitude for giving yourself the gift of this time today. And gratitude for me, for sharing your time, your energy with me, for being a part of this wonderful community. Thank you so much. So for many of you, this might not be the most powerful practice that you have ever done physically, but bear in mind that there are a lot of things going on inside your body. So it's important that you make sure that you're drinking plenty for the remainder of the day. Sipping water for the rest of the day would be great. And just be aware that some shifts and changes might take place over the coming sort of 24 hours. So. Uh, you might notice you might feel a little more emotional than normal. You might need to use the bathroom more than, than you usually do. Um, you may just sleep, get the best sleep of your life tonight. So all of these things are indications that something's changing and shifting in your body.